Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy Trone here from the beautiful Caribbean on Union Island. For the one that haven't watched my past videos or followed me on social media, let me introduce you to what I do in my next video project. So I was born in South of France, as you can hear with my accent, and I moved to Martinique when I was only a few months old, so I spent all my childhood there. It's another Caribbean island, a little bit more north from here. Growing up on an island, I spent my whole youth in the ocean, surfing, diving, going fishing. It was always fun. And around 1999, 2000, I built my first kite and I started kite surfing. The year passed and I got lucky enough to become a professional kite surfer. So I started traveling the world and used my passion for photography and videography to share all these experiences. As I was traveling, every time I was getting to a new place, I was wondering, could I live here? Would this be a potential home for me? But I was always missing the Caribbean vibe that you can't find anywhere else. And this is why I decided to base myself here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines on a beautiful island we call Union Island. Living here, I started my own business, the JD Pro Center Kitesurfing School, and I still ride professionally for one of the coolest kiteboarding brands on the market, North Kiteboarding. Now that you got a good introduction of what I do and where I am, I would like to introduce you to my new video series, Island Life. Freedom Island. If your shipwreck, know that you're invited. Genuine vibes of mingling tribes. We feel no differences on them. We thrive when you arrive. Dispose extravaganzas. A man's ego is the greatest propaganda. Keep you blind to the freedom. So I started Island Life to give you a cool insight on what it takes to live on a little Caribbean island like Union Island. I'm going to try to cover as many things as possible, whether it is the very fun days we have out or the little struggle we can find when we start a business, for example. Union Island is located in the South Caribbean between North America and South America. Let me show you on the map. So if you have a closer look at the Caribbean, at the north you have North America, at the south is South America, and right in between you have all the small islands of the Caribbean. South from the island of Martinique you'll meet St. Lucia, and south from St. Lucia, you'll meet St. Vincent. And south from the island of St. Vincent, you will meet the Grenadine Islands. So Union Island is the further south of the Grenadines, located right here. One of the things I love about the Caribbean is even though all the islands are very close to each other, they're all very different and each island has its own particularity. For example, St. Vincent, uh, it's very untouched and have amazing waterfalls. And right next to it, the Grenadines, you have some of the most amazing, beautiful beach, a crystal clear water and amazing white sand. So if you want to escape, you could just take a boat or a small little plane and end up in a completely different country that's only a few miles away from here. Okay, so the weather on Union Island is 30 degrees all year long and the water is not far from that. The island is three miles long and one mile wide. So it seems pretty small, but it's hilly landscape make it look much bigger. So wherever you go, you never see the end of the island. One of the questions I get asked the most when you live on a small island like this is, don't you get bored here? And, and we don't actually. It's small, but there's so much to do. There's beaches all around. Uh, you can go fishing, you can go surfing, you can go kite surfing. There's always something to do. And um, if you get bored with the island, you can just go to the neighbor island and find another things to do. Uh, Union Island has two little villages, Ashton and Clifton. Clifton is the most touristic place of the island where all the restaurants and businesses are located. And Ashton has a lot of people living there. It's a very, really nice little town as well. There's 3,000 people living on Union Island, so that means more or less everybody knows everybody here. Union Island has its own bank, a uh, post office, a little hospital we call the Health Center, which has one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen for a hospital or even a house in the world. Uh, we have several little bars and restaurants all around the island, really cool places to hang out, a nightclub, 
a couple of supermarkets, uh, hotels and a marina. So there's a lot to do here. And we also have very decent internet connection and very good Wi-Fi. And above all, we have one of the best kites of in school in the whole Caribbean, the Jetty Pro Center. Luckily enough, we have our only international airport here with daily flight from Barbados and St. Vincent. The people here are super friendly and always helpful with everybody. The Grenadines is a world famous sailing destination with the Tobago Keys Marine Park with a beautiful water where you can swim with turtles. So a lot of sailboats come here to visit this amazing park. Union Island is located only a couple miles away from the Tobago Keys, so it has become a hotspot for all the sailors to come and visit the Grenadines. So by introducing a kai surfing school on Union Island a couple years back, we really started to bring a lot more tourism to the island. A lot more people are starting to come to just kite here. It's an amazing kite surfing destination and we're very happy for that. The kite center keeps me busy a good half of the year from November to July. But after that, it's a low season and we have time for ourselves to start fixing things and enjoying and discovering a little bit more of the island. So yes, I'm lucky enough to live in paradise. But living far away from everything, like here, has its challenges. And you will see in the next videos that not everything is always very smooth. We have a lot of things we have to, to deal with when we're so far away from anywhere else. One thing is for sure, I would not trade this for anything else. I hope you guys had a good understanding of what I'm doing here and what the next video is going to be about. So you guys can now subscribe to the channel to get notified the next time I will upload the first episode of Island Life. It was a really long day filming this first episode of Island Life. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm heading out for a quick last kite session. Baby fly, baby fly, fly with eyes, fly with eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Kiss the sky, kiss the sky. Baby fly, baby fly, fly with eyes, fly with eyes. We are now landing, we are now landing. Freedom Island, Freedom Island. We not living the mood, we just vibing, vibing, vibing. Freedom Island, straight vibing on Freedom Island, island, island. Freedom Island, we not living the mood. Yeah man, this is Island Life. If you enjoy watching, like the video. If you want to learn about the Island Life, don't forget to subscribe. Man, see you on the next video.